When They See Us has captivated America, telling the heart-wrenching saga of the Central Park Five, or the Exonerated Five as they're known now, who were imprisoned for a brutal attack they did not commit. Yeah, the series also shows the devastating effects on their families, including Antron McRae's mother, played by Emmy nominee Marsha Stephanie Blake. Take a look. You keep listening to those footsteps, please. That's me. Coming to bring you home. I feel like everybody in the world hate me, Ma. I know it feels like that. I know it feels like that. But I love you enough to make up for it. everybody. Uh, and Marsha is here with us now. Welcome. So nice to see you. Thank you. How does that feel when we introduced you as Emmy nominee? I mean, that's got to be pretty <laughs> exhilarating. It feels like you're talking about somebody else. <laughs> and in my mind, Miss Linda got nominated. Uh, yeah. Linda McRae got nominated. Yeah. Who you it's brought still, to life. Right, right. But I yeah. still feel like I... I feel like I don't, I don't know who that is. So yeah. where were you when you heard the news? I was at my friend's house in my niece's bedroom. <laughs> So imagine a lot of pink, yes. and the, even the bathroom was pink, and I got a text message from Ava, and I think um, she said, congrats on your Emmy nomination, wow. And I was like, I literally wrote back, wrote back um, what are you talking about? <laughs> and then she didn't respond because I think she might have been texting other people. That were nominated. So then I was wow. just like, what is she talking about? Oh my God! <laughs> and so I said, um, let me Google it. And I Googled, but nothing came up on Google. Nothing at all, because yeah. I think it, it was wasn't, too soon. It was too soon. <laughs> like she had just out. heard. So yeah. now I thought, okay, Ava made a mistake. And I was yeah. convinced. <laughs> I think uh, Nisi's nomination was up and Anjanu Ellis's nomination was up and I thought, oh my God, Ava texted the wrong person. Oh, no. This is going to be really embarrassing. But I thought it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> but I really did not think she meant me. Yes, but and she did. She did. She goodness. did. It was me. I can't believe it. Yeah. I still can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did you go about channeling Linda McRae, Antron's mother, especially to, you know, give her due and credit since... Mm -hmm you know, uh, Antron is, you know, still alive, very much alive. Well, I actually spoke with Miss Linda before she passed away. Her yeah. death was sudden. So I, in my mind, she was going to see this. Um, but I had a long conversation with her. She didn't love talking about this incident. Yeah. For a lot of these families, I think for most of these families, it's still very fresh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel to them like it was 30 years ago. Yeah. So talking, she said, I don't like to talk about this. She started the conversation like that. And then she talked for a long time and was very generous, very personal, told me a lot of things. And I was just listening to her cadence and she had a little bit of a raspy voice, but she was also funny yeah. and like full of life. And so I, you know, I tried to incorporate all those things, having just had a phone conversation with this woman because I never got to meet her, unfortunately. But um, speaking to her son and speaking to people who know her now, I, I've met a lot of people now who know her or knew her yeah. and um, just from things they would say about her. Yeah, well you, you really did brought her to life, yeah. bring her to life and you've got a lot of other projects going on too and not a great time because I heard you were going to leave the business but you also got to I, work with Spike <laughs> Lee, another Netflix project see you yesterday. What was it like working with him? Well Spike is our producer actually so um, it's actually directed by a young guy, Stefan Bristol, it was his first feature film. and. Um, but he's a mentee of Spike's, and Spike saw something, I think that we all now can see, yeah. um, saw something in him and was generous enough and smart enough, I think, to back his project. Yeah. Um, and it's been such a pleasure. I mean, that whole, the, the whole 40 Acres and a Mule team, Netflix, Stefan, it's just a family. It's a great family. Yeah, yeah. I get to play another great mom. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, I, I have all these kids now. My kids yeah. actually think they have all these extra siblings. <laughs> I love that. Well, we've yeah. got to ask you about another big film you're a part of, Loose, with yes. Octavia Spencer. Yeah. And I don't play a mom in that. No? It's weird. I'm Who so do I you feel play? like this was my year of the mom. <laughs> um, I play Octavia's sister, uh -huh. Rosemary. Yeah. And it comes this out next week, right? It comes out next week. The trailer is exciting. amazing. I can't wait to see it. I'm not yeah. in the trailer, though. Don't look for me in the trailer. Ah. <laughs> but we know you're but in But I it. promise you I'm in the film. Yes. <laughs> well, and you can catch Marsha and When They See Us on Netflix now and catch Loose when it hits theaters August 2nd. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thank having you. me.